like building a dream house was always like, you know, a goal of ours, but we just never thought we would be able to attain it. Um, I'm a teacher. So obviously I don't make all that much teaching. Um, so we just thought that was going to be like a, like down the road, um, goal. And we were very fortunate to have the opportunity to do it much, much earlier than that. And, um, with, um, in terms of the land, there was a piece of land that has been vacant across from my mother's house where I grew up for the past 25 years. It's just traded hands between neighbors. So I approached him and asked if he would be willing to sell it to us. Um, and he was like, yeah, sure. I'm gonna be moving soon anyway, so. Um, you know, their standard is not at all the same as Schumacher's standard. So a lot of the things that we wanted to add into the house were already going to be in the house if we went with Schumacher. And just the materials that Schumacher uses were better. Because I know like one of the things you didn't like was in their kitchens, they used, uh, they still use like laminate countertops as like a base thing and with Schumacher, it was granite. It was yeah, whereas, granite. I mean, we, we upgraded to quartz anyway, but like, you know, it's nice that Schumacher at least doesn't have laminate countertops as their standard anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was just like what you're getting for the cost of the house was much greater with Schumacher. I'd say um, the staff at the Ravenna office definitely made it a lot. You, you come on with this like, notion like you're building a house and like this it's this big task and you just kind of like see okay like the, this big mortgage I'm taking out it's this big project and everything and the staff at Ravenna really really did an awesome job kind of just breaking it down and helping us take it step by step and just kind of like walking us through that process to make it as like I don't want to say painless as possible because <laughs> really, I mean it's you're building a home there's hiccups here and there and everything but uh, they did such an awesome job it was as simple as I could honestly say it was going to be. As I say, I know for me, the one thing like I really wanted coming in was we wanted kind of that, like the bigger walk-in shower with like the glass door that's in our master bathroom. That was something like, that was like, I think my only must have. I was like, everything else I'm like, I'm fine yeah. with living without just that like nice big walk-in shower with like the rainfall style, um, faucet and everything we got that um i really wanted a two-story great room just because i loved the look of them and i loved like the big tall fireplace and the open concept house like i don't like when houses are very boxy and like cut apart um that was our old house we had like the kitchen was separate from the living room so nobody could be in the kitchen at the same time as the people in the living room you couldn't talk like that bugged me so I was like I want something that's just going to flow all together so that when we have people over you could be in the kitchen or the living room and still talk to one another um I know I really wanted uh we both really wanted the first floor bedroom um I don't know if it's just because we lived in a ranch before this but I I, I like that I don't have to run up and down the stairs every day if I forget something in my room um I know we really wanted a, like a nice kitchen that was you know modern and upgraded the one other thing you know, a lot of like the floor plans when we were looking at them and like ours and like her brothers and everything just the way they set up the the windows and the rooms and everything just brings in a lot of natural light which is really nice mm -hmm. so um we hardly ever have the lights on during the day because you don't need them so, um, yeah, we really wanted like big bright windows. Um, originally I thought I really wanted like, um, to upgrade our staircase. I wanted to do like the Oak tread and the iron rod. And that was one thing we ended up taking out because it saved us the majority of the money that we wanted to save. And honestly, I'm not disappointed with what we ended up picking. Were, they worked with us and we ended up switching to the Halstead, which was very similar to the Madison and had everything that we wanted. We could keep all our upgrades and it brought our payment down 
significantly. It didn't seem like, even though Schumacher is like the largest custom home builder, like they take good care of you Mm -hmm. and they're very understanding. They're not like gonna, they're not trying to screw you over and like, you know, just make a sale off of you. They really do care about your house and want you to be happy in it. Um, And even like when we were doing the design process, like I'm so indecisive (laughs) and I I felt so bad for Jess because she, she had to sit there with us for three hours and sit there looking at me going, okay, which floor should we pick? And um, she was very helpful. And uh, they originally didn't have like the kind of backsplash for the kitchen that I was looking for. So we chose something, but um, like, I think it was like a week or two later, they got all these different backsplashes in and she called me personally and FaceTimed with me and was like, I just got all these backsplashes. I thought you would love them. Do you want to come and pick a different one? Like she didn't have to do that. She could have been like, well, I did my part. I'm done. But she took the time to call me and let me choose something different because she knew I wasn't like a hundred percent sold on the one I chose. So it was just like little things here and there that made me feel more at ease with what we were doing because I felt like I was working with a group of people that genuinely cared and did not, you know, weren't just trying to check off the boxes. They were making sure that we liked what we were getting, that we were happy along the way. There was, um, like communication was great. I I don't think there was ever a time during the, even during the pre-construction process that I felt like I didn't know what was happening or what was going on. The kitchen, living room, dining room, combo area. I love this room. It's big and bright and I like cooking in here. And I like that, uh, you know, even if Jordan's like sitting watching TV and I'm over here doing something, like we're still together in the same room. We're not like always in different rooms of the house. Um, And I like that because Jordan's office, he works from home. So he's up Mm -hmm. in the uh, upstairs, one of the bedrooms. And so if I'm down here and I need his attention, I don't have to run all the way upstairs to go and ask him something. I'm just like, hey, and he like leans over the banister. So it's just convenient. (laughs) I thought it was cool watching them just do the framing, honestly, because they work so fast and, um, They like, they dug the house, they poured the foundation and everything. And then I was like, well, it's going to be like a good month until we see a house up there. And then they started building and it was like fully framed in two days. But um, honestly, it was our, it was our construction manager. Hal was awesome. Mm -hmm. Like we, he has like a similar sense of humor to us. So we would joke around with him all the time. And he knew like, I'd call him almost every other day and I'm like are you sick of me yet and he's like no nah, I can't be it's my job because <laughs> this has always been a dream of mine to build my own house my parents built their house and you know I don't know why it was just like oh well if you build a house it's yours and it's more special like so I I bawled my eyes out when we first like you know got the okay to move in and like I just remember Like we live across, like my mom, obviously, because she's across the street, we lived at her house while the house was being built. So we could watch it the whole time. But every night we would go and like spend a couple minutes just standing in the house. And like, even when it was still cold and there weren't windows or anything, we'd still go stand in the house. And so then like towards the end of the process where like the carpet's in and all the finishing is done and they're just waiting to like have like maybe the cleaning crew come or anything. I remember we went and we, we sat in our bedroom and we sat on the floor and I just cried because I was just so happy that it was coming true and that it was real. Uh, it like, it still doesn't feel real. And I keep asking every now and then I'll go like, does this feel like home yet? And he goes, it's getting there. It's getting there. Like we keep feeling like someone's going to walk in and be like, get out of my house. Like <laughs> it's like, it doesn't feel like yours at first but like 
it's it's slowly feeling more and more like home and that you know this is where we're gonna be for the rest of our lives so 